Hi everyone, it's Laura Milligan. Happy Monday, the first Monday in April. How, oh, how can that be? Time flies, right? Well, I'm really glad you joined me today and I have, I feel like I have a lot that I want to share and talk about. Um, there were a lot of announcements last week from Stampin' Up! about our retiring list, our last chance list, our color refresh. So I'm going to briefly discuss all of that with you today and I'm going to make a card. So I'm going to first, um, I'm going to switch my camera view down. Um, say hi if you're there. We have a beautiful sunny day. Let me just check and see where I am. Okay, we have a beautiful sunny day in Canton today and it's, I think the high is going to be 60. So it started out at like in the 30s. So it's kind of like spring and winter finding it, fighting it out and we know spring's going to win in the end, right? Um, Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and switch my camera view down. There's Mary, hi Mary Jo, hi Colleen, happy Monday, yeah, oh. It's been a Monday morning here, things have been kind of crazy, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and switch my camera view down. I have some cards that I wanna share with you first that I received in the mail. Um, this is from my friend Debbie, and um, hi Marva. Welcome. So this is from my friend Debbie. She used this new um, leaf bundle and love it. And look at the cute, look at her cute envelope. Look at the card that she made. I love this, Debbie. Thank you so much. I got that one. And then I got, this is from my friend Kathy. She too, whoops, she too decorated the flap of her envelope with some paper. And look how cute. Look how cute this is. She, Kathy is a former librarian and um, she did these books in this basket with it. I love this, Kathy, this is so cute. Thank you so much. And there's a little apple. This, when I saw this made me think of my daughter, Faith, because she's a language arts teacher in a middle school. And she, I don't know anyone that loves to read more than her, maybe my husband. They're both huge, huge readers, but Faith, um, loves to read and this I I may have to make make this card to send to her so thank you Kathy for that then I got this beautiful card from Debbie she is so look how sweet this is it was so sweet she just it's a thank you um thanking she said she's been watching she's been stamping for 25 years she began to watch me during COVID you're so in incredibly talented, very inspiring. Thank you for doing what you do. That was so sweet. Debbie, you totally made my day and look how fun. It's like a trifold. I don't know what you call this, but she used those radiating stitches dies. Love this ribbon. And I just thought that was such a cute card. So thank you, Debbie, so much for that. Love getting cards in the mail. Like everybody else, it just, it's a, it's a spot of sunshine, right? A paper hug in the mail, as they say. So those are really, really pretty. Then I'm going to um, just briefly show you the cards that I made last week. And um, these were the ones, I've got this right here. Let me show you the Desert, Delicate Desert Suite. You know what, my phone is in a weird place today. Let me adjust it a little bit, there we go. Um, Delicate Desert Suite. And what I did was showed how you can put the two dies together and then have parts and pieces for three different cards. And so these were the three cards that I made. And then I also showed them in this color combination, um, just, just, to, just to show you the difference. And so I'm giving away these three cards and this one's going to Wendy Banker. She's in my downline, sweetest lady. Pat Derlich is gonna get this one. And this one is going to Juanita Plum. So I have all of your addresses. I will get these in the mail, probably not till tomorrow because things are kind of crazy here. But um, these, um, I wanted to mention these today as well because a lot of these products are going to go on sale starting tomorrow. Um, I After I posted these, I got a lot of comments from people um, that they love these cards, how gorgeous they were. And I agree. I think they're, it's just beautiful stuff, but I wanted to mention a couple things. The, um, stamp set and dies are going to be on, well, so the dies are going to be on sale tomorrow and it's actually a better 
deal for you if rather than buying the bundled price, if you buy the stamp set separate and the dies separate, the dies are going to be, oh gosh, what is it? Let's see, 60% off. So rather than $34, they're going to be $13.60. Like that's an amazing deal. Um, this paper that I use, now this is not the metallic paper. That is going to show up in an, in our online exclusives. But um, this background paper here that I used on this card and this card, that paper is going to be on sale. That is the Delicate Desert paper. It's going to be 30% off tomorrow for $8.40. And then the gold sequins that I used are also going to be reduced. Um, they are going to be 20% off. So there are some great deals to be had tomorrow. And I think the best way, I will probably get an email out at some point tomorrow um, talking about, you know, this the sale because it does start tomorrow. Um, but I think the best and easiest way for you to shop is to go to my online store, which you can access from my um, blog, which is lauramilligan.com. I don't think you can even see that, lauramilligan.com. And you'll see a, a place where you just click to shop and that way you'll know you are shopping with me. If you do a $50 order, um, last month the um, thank you gift were these sequins and just give me some time to get those out. I had to get them all ordered and then I have to wait till they get to me and then I will be sending them out to everyone along with a hand stamp card, of course. But my thank you gift for April is going to be, with a $50 order, a surprise embellishment from the new catalog. And those will be sent out in early May once I can get those ordered back in my hands and then ship, shipped out to you with a thank you card. So if you want to see the sale stuff, I will say there are some really, really good deals. Things sell out. It's only while supplies last. And um, so don't delay. I would plan to get up first thing in the morning and check out what you want um, because there are some there are some great, 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 great deals and things will definitely sell out. Um, I wanted to mention our retail. So last week we did a, we announced our color refresh, which is always very exciting. It's fun to get new colors to look, to look at. And I'm going to just show you this was not a surprise to anyone. These are our retiring in colors. These were from 2022 to 2024. So Evening Evergreen, which I'm actually going to use today on the card I'm going to make. Soft Succulent is gone. Polished Pink is gone. Pale Papaya is gone. And Fresh Freesia has retired as an in color, but now it's going to be part of our main core of colors. So we don't have to say goodbye to that. So that's good because that is such a beautiful um, freesia, freesia color. So those were not a surprise. What we weren't sure of is which colors from our core colors they would be retired, they would be retiring. So let me just show you those. Bermuda Bay. So I want to show you these now because you should take note of them and if maybe Bermuda Bay is your favorite color, you want to make sure that you have, um, uh, Oh yeah, you're right. Mary Jo says, I didn't think it started till noon. You are correct. Um, I was mistaken about that. But um, as soon as you can tomorrow, get ready and order because things will sell out. So if you see one of these colors that I'm showing you or the in colors that are retiring, say one of these is your favorite color. You want to make sure that you have cardstock for it and any gems that coordinate and that sort of thing. So Bermuda Bay is one. Blushing Bride. Mango Melody, Mary Merlot, Mint Macaron, Pacific Point, <clears throat> Pear Pizzazz, Rich Razzleberry, Sahara Sand, Soft Suede, and So Saffron. So those we are going to say goodbye to. They will not be available their wall supplies last, and when the new catalog comes out, we will have new colors, which is also very, very exciting. If you want to see, I did talk about the new colors on my blog one day last week. Um, I also posted it on the Facebook page that you're looking at right now. Um, 
and you can just scroll down on my feed and click on that. It'll take you to the blog post that I did if you want to see the new colors. They are beautiful, but these are the ones that are going to be gone. And I know that some of them will probably go quickly because everybody has their own favorite color, but I'm excited about the, the color refresh. And I will be sharing a lot more about that as time goes on. I wanted to wait um, to get those in my hands. And of course, as demonstrators, we're allowed to order things a month early. Um, so I will have those in my hands soon. And I'm excited. I'm excited to get those in my hands. So, all right. Let me just make sure I didn't forget anything that I wanted to mention today. I think I'm good. So I have a card today and it is featuring the Queen Bee stamp set. And Stampin' Up! actually called me. I got a call from Jennifer at Stampin' Up! last week and she told she wanted to tell me that this was before the retiring list came out um, from the mini catalog and the annual catalog. She wanted to let me know that the Queen Bee um, stamp set was not going to be in the um, upcoming annual catalog. Um, she said they had to make this decision months ago, but they were going to be putting it as an online exclusive, but not the dies. So, which makes me sad, but I think it had a good run, and I'm thrilled that the stamp set is still going to be available to order. But let me just say, if you haven't ordered this yet, you definitely want to get the dies and they will be, um, they, so no, Mary Jo, it is not being retired. The Queen Bee is going to be in the online exclusives, just the stamp set. The dies are not, the dies are being retired. Maybe that's what you're, that's what you're referring to. But if you don't have the dies, I think they're, um, they add so much to the bundle. So I'm going to make a card today um, featuring the Queen Bee bundle. And this is, let me find my packet here. This is an envelope flap card. And that's what I call it. So let me bring, these are my dies. This is what's not going to be available. They are highly reduced tomorrow, like $13 or $14. So don't miss out on these. These work so well with the um, stamp set and also with um, just kind of on their own. There's cute flowers and the little bee kind of stands on its own. Um, the wings, you for sure want to have those wings because when you cut them in vellum, they just add so much to a card. So don't miss out on that if you, if you don't have it yet. So this card, let me just pull the parts and pieces out. Yeah, I don't know why, what, how they make the decisions on, you know, certain things, but. Okay, so I'm just going to put this B in here. And this is a way that I use my Stamparatus when I'm making multiples of something. Um, and I'm going to use this Evening Evergreen, which. Um, oops, there's a piece of fuzz on there. Let me get that off. Now I have green fingers. That's all right. It's a better day if you have ink on your fingers, right? So I'm going to ink this up and just give it a press. And that looks good. And then what I like to do is just take my take your pick tool with the putty on the end. And I just put the putty at a place where there's no ink and pick it up and it, it'll just pop right out like that. Okay, so that's what I use my Stamparatus for. Stamparatus is also retiring, unfortunately. I think everybody's more upset about that than anything else. Um, so hopefully you have one because it is such a great stamp positioner. Um, okay, so now we're just going to put this together. So I have um, a panel of white, and this is my card base. It's a little bit smaller than like a traditional card base because I'm actually building this card on this piece of um, Blushing Bride. So this is, that'd be four and a quarter by five and a half. So this is just a little bit smaller so that pink is gonna show all the way around. Now what I'm gonna stamp, I actually could have done on this part, but I like to have this piece here just in case I make a boo-boo. Um, that's just how I decided to do this. So let me bring in my stamps and I'm gonna just create a collage look for this. Um, 
So let's see. I'm gonna, and I this I'm only using Evening Evergreen ink on this card, and I think I have everything I need here. Okay, so I'm gonna start with this big spray of flowers. Yeah, the Stamparatus is gone. It's sold out. If you have a Stamparatus though, um, make sure you have magnets because sometimes they get broken. They are still available. Make sure you have the grid pad. That is still available. I checked this morning. And then I always use this. It's called the Deluxe Foam Mat for the Stamparatus. I use it to stamp on. Um, it gives a little bit of a cushion. Okay, so I'm gonna start by um, just doing this sprig. I'm gonna turn it, I'm just gonna stamp it right there like that. Okay, isn't that pretty? So pretty. And then I'm just gonna kind of fill in. Um, I have this little flower and I have this texture stamp texture stamp and then this little flower here and I'm going to just kind of fill in some of this and then I'm also going to stamp um, the little bee so I'm going to stamp off on this actually probably a couple times because I want this to be really really light I'm just kind of filling in and I'm actually going to do it again on the inside of my card and you if you noticed I only stamped I only inked this up one time. So I'm just creating a little bit of interest in the background there. And I like the front, I like how that looks. You know, I could probably put one more there. And look how much leverage I got from just inking the stamp up one time. Now I'm gonna take the little flower, and again, I'm gonna stamp it off because I want it to be pretty light. I'm gonna stamp it several times, stamp it here, um, just kind of filling in. There's really no right or wrong. And you know what, I, I have this hole here that's a little bit too white, so I'm gonna stamp that one more time, that little cluster texture, texture stamp. Okay, so that, I'm liking the way that looks. Now I'm gonna take my little queen bee, mini queen bee, and I'm gonna put her there. So cute. Okay, and then um, that's, I think that's all the stamping I'm gonna do for now on the front. Um, and then on the inside, I'm gonna do the queen, the little queen bee again. I'm just gonna stamp her right there like that. And then I'm gonna do the happy birthday. And you'll notice these look kind of weird. I wanted to stamp this as one word and I didn't want a big space between them, so I just took an old pair of scissors that I have, not my new paper snips, you know? You know how I keep talking about getting a new pair of paper snips. Um, but you can trim, I just trimmed the, the excess rubber around there so that I could butt these two words up together. And so that's gonna just go right here, like that. So that's the inside of my card. Mary Jane says, if I have magnets, do you think I should get another set? I would say it wouldn't hurt. Um, I have never, I don't think I've ever broken any of my magnets, but it can happen. And then if they do, you're going to be stuck. You, you definitely want to have the magnets. Um, it wouldn't hurt. I guess it's up to you. Um, okay. So now what I'm going to do is take my... Evening Evergreen, this is the, I think it's the dark, yeah, this is the Dark Evening Evergreen. So not only are these ink colors that I showed you retiring, so are of the ink pads that I showed you, of course, the paper, the cardstock, um, any, like the designer paper that goes with these, the blends, the refill. So you have to think about all of that. So I'm going to take um, my bone folder, and I'm gonna use the brush tip of this and just hit this like that, just to kind of add some more interest. And if I want to, I could even do it on the inside. I call this flecking. You can do as little or as much as you want, but I just love the look. It kind of makes it look a little bit grungy and collage-like. Okay, so then I'm gonna take a piece of designer paper and this paper, um, Oh my gosh, it is called, you know what, I'm gonna have to look it up. Give me one second. It's, I wanna make, Texture Chic, I believe is what it's called. Let me just open up my catalog. Yeah, it's the, 
find it in here. This will be I'm this will be retiring as well. They very rarely Stampin' Up very rarely carries over designer paper. Texture chic 12 by 12 paper and let me just show you um so this piece this is the only piece I have left. This is a 12 by 12 pack of paper, but I have used this one a lot and I just have a little bit left, but so this is a specialty paper. It has gold in it. So let me show you those. Really pretty. Love that one. It's really good colors. Oh, I got that in there twice. And then let me just flip these over so you can see the back side. And the back side, look how interesting these are. There's flowers, different colors of flowers. Um, there's snowflakes. There's seashells on one of them even. So that's that's I love I love this one. That's the texture chic paper. So I'm going to take a strip of this and just put it across my card like that. Now I could use either side, but I just love the muted tones on this side. This actually would look really cute. It would just make it a little more vibrant, but I'm I'm going to um put this side down. Let me see if I can have my get my glue going here. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just going to put that, it's pretty much centered. Okay. Then I have, um, so you know what, I think what I'm going to, I'm trying to think through what's the best way to show you this. So then I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to go ahead and glue it to the front of my card. And like I said, I could have done all of this just on this, but I just decided to do it this way and add that extra piece. So let me adhere this. Let's put that on there. This is a fun card to make. I love this layout and I've done it before. I think I've done it in one of my classes, but, um, if you didn't take that class, you wouldn't know how to do this. Okay, so we have that there like that. Then I'm going to take this piece. It, this is a four by four inch square, and I'm going to fold it corner to corner on the diagonal like that. And I'll take my bone folder just see how that, yeah, that looks pretty good. I'm just gonna make sure it has a nice crease. Then what I'm gonna do is, this is going to go on here like this, right on the back of the card. So I'm going to adhere it back here. So I'll be putting glue here, but I'm not gonna put any glue here because that's actually the flap that will be opening. So what I'm gonna do is just sort of eyeball this. Let me put some glue on here. And I'm just going to slide this in like this and just give that a press. And again, there's no adhesive on this side. You want that to be open for this, for this layout to work. Then I'm just going to take my paper snips and um, just cut this off like that. Just that little corner peeking out there. All right, then I'm going to take this piece and this is going to go on this piece of Blushing Bride. This is our, that's kind of what the whole card is built on. So I'm going to go ahead and add my glue like that. And this is just going to be centered on here. So we'll just have a little bit of Blushing Bride peeking around. And doesn't that look pretty? I love the combination. I think the um, Blushing Bride, it just pulls, the card base pulls, or the quarter sheet pulls from that designer paper. I think it's really pretty. Okay, next, I'm going to take my Queen Bee here, and I have die cut a set of vellum wings, which I love. I, it's one of my favorite parts of this um, whole bundle. 
well, who am I kidding? The whole thing is my favorite, right? I love all parts of it. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm gonna just take a glue dot and put it on the center of these wings. And I'll position them just right there over the, over the um, cardstock wings. And I'm gonna fold those up a little bit because I like them to, I like how they curl up like that. So Mary Jo, if I have items in my cart already that will be on sale, will the sale price figure when I check? It should, it should, yes, it should correct that. Um, you should be okay, but I would double check before you finalize it. Okay, so then what we're gonna do is take this piece, and this is a circle that I've embossed with the new Basics embossing folders. They were one of our online exclusives. They are not available right now. They sold out really fast. Everybody loves embossing folders, um, but they will, be, they will be coming back. Then I took just a little snippet of gold ribbon, and I need to trim this end here kind of frayed, which actually doesn't bother me. It sort of goes along with the look of this card. Okay, and I'm going to just take a glue dot and position that here. It's gonna be tucked behind my queen. I call her Queenie. I'm gonna put one on the top as well. So this is just gonna be a little bit, I'll just put that about right there and that should work. Then I'm gonna do, well, you know what, this is gonna, it'll be flat when I um, put the B on top, but for now I'm just gonna tack another glue dot there like that. Then I'm gonna take some linen thread and just tie a bow. I love using linen thread, I just, and I thought it looked pretty over this um, gold ribbon. So I'm gonna go ahead and just finagle this a little bit. And you know how when I, oftentimes when I do bows, I like to fold the ends, the loops down, and I'm just gonna tack that right here. And I think by the time I put the B, yeah, that'll be just fine. So now I'm gonna attach the B and I, I um, just put, sometimes when I've used her, I keep her body flat and just put dimensionals behind her wings. But for this one, I'm gonna put dimensionals just on her body and have her wings just not be attached. So let me get my dimensionals. Very exciting, I actually have a full brand new sheet of dimensionals. You know, normally when I do this, <laughs> my dimensionals are down to almost nothing, but I have a full sheet today, so that's good. It must be a good day. Okay, so I'm just gonna put this here like this. Isn't she pretty? So pretty. Okay, and then, now here's the trick. So you can see that this is the envelope flap. If you look at it like this, you can see like how an envelope flap would come down. So the trick with the envelope flap fold is to only put your dimensionals or whatever adhesive you're using, I'm gonna use dimensionals, only on this side. You don't want to put anything on this side because you won't be able to open the card. So you just want to be sure to do this. And I will show you. So I'm going to put dimensionals just the top and the bottom and that edge there. Okay. So you can see top, bottom, and the side. So let me pull this off. You wanna do it on the side where like the ribbon is, the ribbon and the linen thread. So I'm just gonna put that right there like that. Center that on there. And then you can see, I can put my whole hand under here. There's nothing holding that in place. And that's the trick to this. Like I said, if this was stuck down with dimensionals, there'd be no place for this, it would, be, it would be like that. But because of how I did it, you can slide it all the way under. Um, super cute. I think it's such a great and fun fold and really easy. Um, so I'm gonna slip that under there. And then the only other thing I need to do is add some embellishments. And so these are the pastel adhesive back sequins and I'm just gonna put a few of those on there. And I love 
I love these and I love the gold because I thought it kind of pulled the gold from the designer paper that I'm using. So yeah, Colleen says she's going to start putting things um, in her cart. Yeah, Wendy, she says, I love hearing those squeaky toy sounds in the background. You all know who that is, right? That is my boy, Charlie. And he's, he's funny. He's having fun playing with his little squeaky toys. And it's funny because he doesn't even play with toys that much, but it just seems like when I'm on a live, suddenly he, I guess he feels he needs to provide some entertainment or maybe he's just trying to entertain himself. I don't know, but these sequins come in two sizes. This is the smaller and then the larger size. So I'm gonna do a couple of these here. But don't you think they look good with this gold in that designer paper? And then I'm going to do, whoops, let me get one of these. Put one here. Move this over so you can see a little bit. And then I think I'll do another small one there. You could do as many as you want. And then I want to put one in the center of the queen, queenie. Like that. Just to finish her up. Um, if you want to, you could put some Wink of Stella on the vellum wings or even like behind here. It would be really pretty on her body. She looks pretty when she's all sparkly. And then on the inside, we have our happy birthday. And I think what I'm going to do, um, I think it's fun to add some gems on the inside of a card as well. I just think it makes it look pretty and it doesn't have to be a lot. I may just do one right there like that, but it just kind of dresses up the inside. And so then we're just going to slip this under and there is our beautiful queen bee envelope flap card. So I hope you like this. I thought this was a really fun card. I love the combination of the gold and the designer paper with the evening evergreen. And I hope you've like you like it as well. Um, oh, and you know what? I just, I forgot. I have this little piece here. This was just a little scrap. And so I just put this um, on the bottom. I forgot to do that, so let me add that real quick. That's another way to just add a little bit of interest to the inside of your card. And sometimes we forget to do stuff like this, but it just makes it nice. Okay, so I'm gonna slip this under here again, and there you go. So let me come back and just sign off. Um, I appreciate you joining me. I'm gonna hold this up so you can see it maybe from a different angle. This is our envelope flap card featuring the Queen Bee Bundle. If you don't have this, like I said, wait till tomorrow, but I would snatch up the dies if you don't have them yet. Get the stamp set and then buy the dies separately and you'll save a huge amount. Um, don't forget about the, the special, everything um, tomorrow, the last chance list, there are the retiring list from both the annual catalog and the mini catalog, loads of stuff retiring, some great deals. Things are just, some things are, not everything, but some things are discounted up to 60% off. So there's a lot, a lot of good deals to be had. I know I'm going to be shopping tomorrow. I've got a list that I'm working on and um, I will be posting my host code too. That will be on my blog. You can see that tomorrow. And if you use the host code, if your order is less than $50, you'll get a surprise free embellishment from me in the mail in May. I have to wait till I'm able to order them in bulk. Um, enough of them for all of you that will be placing orders. And I, and I, you know how much I appreciate your orders. So um, I think that's all for today. Let me just make sure... Um, yeah, so Cindy, Cindy, I agree with you. The beautiful paper really makes this card. That's going to be going away. I'm sure that's on the retiring list. So don't miss out on that. And um, I will see you next Monday. And as always, I hope you have time to be creative today. And so from Laura and Charlie with his squeaky toy, I hope you all have a great day. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.